Hi, my second grade artists. <clears throat> Today we are going to be studying an artist whose name is Louise Nevelson. Louise Nevelson is an artist who creates assemblages. Assemblages are like collages where you put together lots of random materials into a picture or a piece of art. But Louise Nevelson did them in a very particular way. You see, she was inspired by her father, who was a carpenter. Carpenters work with wood. She loved being in her father's workshop and looking at all the scrap pieces of wood that he would create. Taking some of the scrap pieces of wood, she would start putting them together and making different pieces of artwork out of these scrap wood pieces. Her works of art are all about shape. They are normally painted with black or white because she wants us to not see the individual objects, but to see them as shapes. Today, we are going to create our own Louise Nevelson inspired assemblages. And we are going to be using all kinds of random found materials. So our first thing that we are going to do today is you will start by creating your piece of art, pasting down all kinds of random materials that you can find here in our material boxes. There is a way though that we are going to go about making sure that our piece of art has a purpose to it, that we plan out everything that we are putting down. This artist did a really nice job with putting down some big objects, some medium sized objects, and some small objects. Let's take a look at our materials. The first part of today is writing your name, class, and number on the back of your cardboard. This board is gonna be our canvas or our piece of paper for our work. Step one is I'd like you to create some kind of frame or outline around the edge of your cardboard. You're able to use any kind of materials out of the box that you think could help you achieve this outline. Lay them out first before you glue them down to see how they fit with each other. If you're using straws, you're even able to cut the straws if they're too long, so I might want to cut that one. And you're going to do this all the way around the outside of your square. You can even put things up on their side like this, which I have done on my work of art here on the edge. I have layered up a few things to make my frame a little thicker. So I've used a clothespin and some popsicle sticks and a few straws up here. Once you have laid out your frame, then you may glue your frame down. Next, we are going to work on the inside of our board. I would like you to imagine that your board has a plus sign in the middle, which splits our board into four parts. In one part, I would like you to place a larger object. These are examples of some of the larger objects that you can find in your material box. We are only using one of these things. Everyone is limited to one large object. I think I will take this. And I'd like you to put it in one of the boxes. Then you are to hunt for some medium sized objects to place next to it. This would be, maybe this one could be used as a large object or a medium object. Two to three medium objects only, please. Then I can fill in the rest of my work with either popsicle sticks or smaller objects that I find. So buttons or pasta pieces, 
you are welcome to use as many of the popsicle sticks or wood pieces as you like. After all, we're being inspired by Louise Nevelson, who used wood to create all of her works of art. I even like to repeat some of my objects multiple times within my picture. So maybe I'll find some of these circle wood pieces and repeat them. That always looks really nice when you have a few of one or two objects. Do not be afraid to leave some white space open on your piece of art or to fill in some of your places on your board with this corrugated cardboard which will create a really nice texture once we paint them next week. So today you are working on first creating a frame around the edge of your picture, adding one big item, two to three medium items, and filling in the rest of your picture with some smaller items or wood pieces. Okay, boys and girls, let's head to our tables and carefully get your material boxes on the way.